Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. This is going to be my third video of Bullsark, Alabama. On this video, I will be covering more of the working class communities here in Ozark, Alabama. I mean, this was the community I was wanting to do on my last video, but on my last video, I ended up doing the more upscale parts of the city. So on this video, I'm gonna cover more of the working class parts of Ozark. And I'm gonna turn down Newton Avenue. I mean, this off of what I've seen, I'm gonna assume this is the, you know, now uh, granted, you, it looks like some housing, looks like some low income housing there. But as I was driving by this area, trying to find the working class part of the city, I mean, this area to me looks a lot like that type of community. So like I've been doing, I'm gonna name off streets and you guys can sound off in the comment section about them. Now I'm on Newton and I'm getting ready to jump on, uh, well, I can I'll tell you guys the name of the street in a second here. Okay, I am on Tan Yard Avenue. I am on Tan Yard Avenue. I'm gonna turn down, I'm gonna make a right. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a left on Edgewood Drive. Now I'm gonna make a right on uh, Cock Shock, Tall Avenue, that's C-H-O-C-T-A-W Avenue. I don't know how to pronounce half these streets, so I'm gonna just fill them out letter by letter, some of them. Now some of these areas here in Southern Alabama have, you know, some of these cities have Indian names. And some of these streets also have Indian names. Because at one point there is apparently a heavy Indian influence in this part of Alabama. Now, I don't know the full history about all that. For those of you that are history, blu that are history buffs, or history junkies, you can look it up for yourself. I mean, this is not a history channel. I don't do history. I just do drive around videos of different communities in the United States.
have turned down on Newton Avenue as soon as the light turns green. turn down uh, Elpis Avenue. Elpis Avenue. I think that's how you pronounce it. drive down Andrews Avenue for a minute. The sun is going to be in your eyes, so my apologies in advance. I gotta say, here in uh, Ozark, there seems to be a fair amount of housing communities. Um, okay, this is West College I'm driving down. I mean, some of these areas, uh, the houses are gonna be a bit struggle. I, yeah, I think I made I was down on this street on one of my other videos but I'll see it again Let's drive down MC Cloud Lane. Don't remember driving down this street. Let's drive down it. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Cemetery Lane. Let's see what's going on here. There's the cemetery. We're gonna go down uh, Holman Street. Yeah, some of this looks like the hood. Oh, we 
already been down here or know. stretch here. And it looks like another housing community here. across the street from a church. this way and see where it takes us. I'm on Aiken Avenue. Hey, let's drive down here. Raymond Street. This is West Raymond Street. These houses don't look too bad. Some of these houses got bars on the window, which, as I forced on other videos, I, me personally, I try to avoid communities with bars on the window. And we're going to turn down, uh, Liberty Avenue. Li Liberty Liberty Avenue. They're going to turn down Hall Street. Now, some of these houses don't look too bad. I mean, some of these houses, I, you know, some of these areas look a bit struggle. And some of these other areas look like any normal, everyday working class area. I mean, some of these areas, from what I noticed here in Ozark and other cities I didn't go to this here in Alabama is, you can have one street that looks like an everyday working class area where most people have jobs, they go to work and pay their bills and they live a uh, responsible life. And then you can drive the next block over and be in the hood. Where they're pop, where, where at night they're popping, where they're at, where at night they're probably popping off and doing all kinds of bullshit. This is the reason why I tell you people to observe these communities thoroughly before making a decision to purchase a home. Because as I told you on other videos, when you look at a picture on the MLS, the picture might look like a million bucks. Like you're buying something decent. And then you come to find out later that's not the case. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna drive down Newton Avenue, see what's going on on Newton. Streets. Let's take a drive down Owen Street, which doesn't look too bad at all. See, this is what I'm talking about. You can, you know, one minute you can be in an area like this, next minute, depending on what direction you're driving, you can be in the heart of the hood. But like I was saying a minute ago, you know, one minute, I mean, when you look at a MLS listing, I mean, naturally, the, the people who are in charge of taking all the pictures, or the realtor themselves who might take the pictures, they're going to make that area, they're going to make that property look as good as they can make it look. So you might be looking at a picture of a home that you're interested in and everything on pic on the picture look good. The inside look good, outside look good. The description might even the description of, you know, some, the way they describe the property in the area might not even, you know, that might even sound good. But then when you get to the actual area, uh, you come to find out that the property is in the heart of the ghetto. You come to find out in some cases that at night, they, they you know, they, they out here doing all kinds of craziness. And this is going to most likely be where a lot of your businesses are at here in Ozark, Andrews Avenue. So we're going to stay on this street for a hot second. It's going to be a little bright, so my apologies.
Maybe we're gonna go down McDonald Ave McDonald Avenue. I'm going to go down Julian Street. And let's go down Wilson Avenue. There's a bunch of houses here that look half decent. This looks like a everyday working class community here. I could be wrong, but I'm just going off of what I see. Houses here don't look too bad. Yards don't look too bad. There's now a bunch of vehicles junked up all over the place. At least not what I can see so far. Now me personally, I would never buy a house that sits below a hill line. Uh, simply because whenever it rains it could be a potential flood issue go down at Brown Drive. Brown Drive. This is Brown Drive. And once again, I'm at the half hour mark, so I'm going to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching my video of my third video of Old Star Crawl Alabama. Thanks for watching any of my videos on my channel for that matter. Y'all know what to do. Remember to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, leave comments below. Leave, yeah, leave comments below. Give me some thumbs up if you like what you see. I mean, I appreciate it. And in a minute or two, I'm gonna cut, in a minute or so, I'm gonna cut this camera off and go ahead and end this video. Alright folks, everybody have a blessed one and I will see you guys on the next video.